Wake up. It's Brian and Tracy. George Burge there with Cowboy Songs on the KSAM Wake Up Morning Show. Okay, have you ever said something like, I wonder if they make bacon-scented air fresheners? And then the next thing you know, you're scrolling on Facebook five minutes later, and there's an ad for bacon-infused air fresheners. Even better, I can say it in my head, and then there's something going oh, on. Oh, that's there just right freaky there. right there. Right? All right, so big companies like Google and Amazon have always denied that they let companies spy on us by listening in on conversations, but maybe uh, keep uh, being paranoid. A site called 404 Media just published a leaked memo from a large marketing company where they have been bragging to clients about a feature called Active Listening. And it's not the first time they've been exposed for it. Uh, Cox Media Group actually bragged about it last year on their own website. But then they took the page down after people started freaking out. But it looks like they're still bragging about it when pitching potential clients. Their leaked pitches say that they use AI to capture, quote, real-time intent data by listening to people's conversations. See, they've been yep. lying. They then use it to pinpoint potential customers. So it's not clear exactly how they've been listening. Google, Facebook, and Amazon all say they're not involved in the program. Mm -hmm. Google even says they've dropped the company from their ad partners program. They say, quote, when we identify ads or advertisers that violate our policies, we will take appropriate action. So the big question is, how could this be legal? Correct. Yeah, some experts say it's not. No. But the marketing companies seem to think it is, uh, it is as long as the software companies bury it down in the fine print that you inadvertently agree to when you download the, the apps or whatever it is that you're going to when you visit the websites. Um, they told potential customers, it's totally legal for phones and devices to listen to you because consumers usually give consent when accepting the terms and conditions. That's because a lot of them don't read the fine print. Mm -hmm. But here's something we could do. What if we just find we could start regulating um, big tech by um, stopping third-party advertisers that do things sneaky ah. like that? Yep. That's all we need to do. I have an we idea don't do for that. that. We don't do that here at KSAM. Well. Because we can't even get paper towels in the bathroom. <laughs> Zach Top sounds like the radio. One to one point seven KSAM, your hometown radio station. Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. Also, it's got some Thomas Rhett and Dustin Lynch coming up around the corner as well. Well, folks, when it comes to catfishing, Mississippi leads the country in catfish production and has since the late 1980s. You know, I'm talking about the actual fish there. Now, when it comes to the other catfishing, the online con where someone tricks someone else into a relationship with a fake persona, another state is number one. According to a recent study, California leads the nation in money lost to bogus romance scams at $184 million. Florida is at a distant second at $70 million. In California, around 8 in every 100,000 people have reported being scammed like this, and the rate is actually higher in Alaska, but the total money lost is a lot lower at just over $3.5 million. Now, there could be a lot of explanations for why California came in at number one on the list, but you got to think that gullibility has to be one of the biggest ones. There's one easy way to avoid some catfishing schemes. Just request a video call. And boom, there you go. Garth Brooks in that summer on 101.7 K Sam. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. You are listening to 90s at noon. Your weather forecast is coming up. And around the corner, some Toby Keith and Sammy Kershaw here this hour of 90s country. Here's a food story for you. Uh, you know, there are times when two things, they're so great separately but they're horrible together. For instance, pineapple and pizza, mint and orange. For some of you guys, mayonnaise and pretty much anything else. I do love mayo, but that's not the point here. The canned meat company Hormel, they are launching a new product that combines its black label bacon with cinnamon toast crunch cereal. No, they're not putting bacon bits into the cereal. They're rubbing the so-called cinnadust onto thick cut bacon. It's then left overnight to reach optimal flavor, which is supposed to create a mix of sweet and salty. Hormel describes the combination as, quote, iconic. And you can either take their word for it or try it for yourself for a limited time. Black Label Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bacon is going to be available at select Walmart locations starting Monday, September the 16th. It'll also be available at some Kroger stores while supplies last. You know, that doesn't sound... Call me crazy if you think I'm being crazy. That doesn't sound bad. I mean, come on, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's incredible. Bacon. Incredible. Put them both together. They may be right. 
iconic. There we go. Dirks Bentley with American Girl, a cover of that Tom Petty classic. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Big Len Edwards. Your forecast coming up here in just a few moments. So, uh, do you watch medical TV shows? Yeah. Who are like the top 10, according to, uh, matter of fact, Entertainment Weekly? Yeah. So they've come out with a list and uh, the top 10 medical shows, uh, you know, dramas and things of that sort. So here we go. Starting at number 10. Have you ever seen Nurse Jackie on Showtime from 2009 to 2015? Never seen an episode myself. Number nine, House, uh, from 2004 to 2012. That was on Fox. Watched it for the first couple of years and just couldn't get into it. Uh, let's see here. Number eight, Chicago Hope, 90, 1994 to 2000. Getting on 2013 to 2015 on HBO. Have never seen it. Didn't even know about it. How about MASH? Yeah, 1972 to 1983. Scrubs, 2001 to 2010. And uh, you know what? I, I didn't care for it. It's a, it's a sitcom. Just didn't care for it. It's not a real medical show. Oh, how about this? Uh, number four, Saint Elsewhere, 1982 to 1988. And a couple of guys that were on that show became real famous. One of them, his name is Denzel. And the other guy, the other guy's name is Mark Harmon. Just saying. Uh, let's see here. Number three, Grey's Anatomy, 2005 to present. Dr. Kildare, 1961 to 1966. And ER, the number one favorite from 1994 to 2009.